Tigray rebels in Ethiopia are stealing aid supplies, according to the U.S. State Department. The U.S. aid organization warned on Tuesday that rebels in Ethiopia's war-torn Tigray area have been robbing supply depots, calling the reported thefts a huge worry for humanitarians. We know for a fact that the TPLF, Tigray People's Liberation Front, has looted warehouses, trucks, and caused a great deal of destruction in all the villages they've visited, and it's a great concern for humanitarians, Sean Jones, the head of the U.S. Agency for International Development's mission in Ethiopia, told Ethiopian state television EBC. TPLF, in my opinion, has been very opportunistic. We don't have proof that they are stealing from citizens. What we do have proof of is that numerous of our warehouses in the locations that the TPLF soldiers have gone into, particularly Amhara, have been robbed and entirely emptied, he stated. The TPLF could not be reached for comment right away. Northern Ethiopia has been devastated by violence since Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed dispatched soldiers to Tigray in November to depose the regional ruling party, the TPLF, claiming the move was prompted by attacks on army barracks. The conflict stretched on for months, producing a humanitarian crisis in Tigray, despite the Nobel Peace Prize winners' promises of a quick victory. Meanwhile, the insurgents have advanced into the neighboring Afar and Amhara regions. Inside Tigray but also now in Amhara and Afar, Jones added, USAID offered food assistance to 5 million people in the north. Abi turned down early requests for discussions with Tigrayan leaders from high-level AU envoys, clinging to his stance that the fighting was a restricted law and order operation. The African Union announced on Thursday that Nigerian former President Alius Gunabasanjo has been appointed as a high representative for the Horn of Africa as part of a drive to promote peace, security, stability, and political dialogue, according to the organization. However, Jedich Urita, a spokesman for the Ethiopian People's Liberation Front, criticized the initiative on Sunday, accusing the African Union of being biased in favor of the Ethiopian government. Since the crisis began, Abiy's government and the Tigrayan rebels have traded accusations, accusing one other of delaying aid convoys and driving a starving populace to famine. The humanitarian toll has risen as the violence has progressed, with relief workers trying to reach cut-off areas and 400,000 people in Tigray experiencing famine-like conditions, according to the UN. The UN's humanitarian office, ACHA, announced last Thursday that help to Tigray has been virtually halted since August.